Hi everybody, welcome back to Enjoying Retirement. Today we are taking a four hour fishing charter out of Nassau, the Bahamas. Um, if you watch my videos, you know last year we took an eight hour charter. We asked to do reef fishing, but we spent a good portion of the time uh, trolling. This time I roped ahead, told them that we just wanted to do uh, drop fishing, light tackle reef fishing. They said no problem. And when we got there, the captain, first thing he said was, I remember you. Uh, hopefully he meant it in a friendly way. But anyway, we had the same captain, same crew as last time. And this time we did nothing but light tackle, reef fishing, and we had a blast. You might have noticed earlier that I had uh, opened up the ice chest last year for an eight hour trip there was one bag of ice and i made that comment so i told myself when we go next time i'm going to check the ice chest and uh, fortunately for half the time we had twice the ice and we were in very good shape um, my wife and i were the only ones on the boat uh, it was a private charter and this time we went out to the east side of the island last time we went out west and it wasn't non-stop uh, catching fish, but it was active enough that we just had a blast the whole time. Um, we'll talk about a few of the fish as we go on. Uh, I ended up uh, at the beginning catching, uh, I think it was about uh, four porgy. Uh, and then my wife started running. Now, out of, out of fairness, we're not going to keep count of who caught the most fish. That, that just want to be sporting. So we'll... we'll don't 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 pay attention don't watch the video and, and count who caught the most fish or whatever uh, let's just in, enjoy the fishing there's my wife uh, she got on a roll with a uh, fish that the uh, guy called margaret um I, I i i think they have a few other names as well uh, we've already tried one we got when we got home it has a delicious white meat and no fish flavor to it at all um, we spent the whole day uh, just a uh, single sinker, a single hook, and fishing with cut squid. Very simple, nice and easy, and very effective. Nice thing about squid is a lot of fish like to eat it, but more importantly, or just as importantly, it's a very tough bait. It uh, just doesn't come off the hook too easily. Now he was uh, throwing some cut ballyhoo out his chum occasionally. Oh, it's a big grouper. Here's my wife pulling in a nice strawberry grouper. Uh, they're pretty common down there. Uh, they don't get too big, but uh, we were lucky enough to catch some uh, decent sized ones oh, yeah. this time. Good all in all, we kept 20 fish out of this. Um, I'd say about six of them or so were these guys right here and uh we've also had them and they, they are they are very very delicious i wish they were a little bit bigger a uh, variety of grouper we had hoped to catch some black grouper or even some nassau grouper which is legal down there but such wasn't uh the case to be today but nonetheless we, we were very pleased um we just like to keep things moving keep the action going um, nice, quiet, you know, the sound of the water breaking on the boat. Um, that, that's what we enjoy. Not so much here in a diesel engine uh, chug for a few hours. So we've got a combination of porgy, strawberry grouper, um, the Margaret fish that they talked about. Now this guy here, I don't know what he is, um, but the guide was very careful. Uh, apparently, the, these are one of the fish that have a uh, razor sharp gill plate on them. So he didn't want to get close to this guy at all. So he was very careful uh, in what he did in uh, releasing him. So we, we did not keep him. And I remember I said, hey, we're, we're, we're not going to watch a video and count who caught what. It just, you know, that's not sporting. And in the end, we're, we're going to we're gonna both eat them all anyway. But yeah, my, my, my wife did a heck of a job, better job fishing today than, uh, than I did. My hat's off to her. She, she had a blast and uh, she just kept reeling them in and uh, enjoying every moment of it. And, and that, that was great. So, 
here's just a few more of the fish, and uh, we'll just watch for a while. Oh, he's a big fish. When we moved to our last spot, we only had about 20 minutes there before our uh, time was up. We had to get back to the dock, but by golly, that's that's where the bigger fish were. My wife is having her hands full pulling in this guy. That's a nice skipjack. I believe that's a skipjack tuna, where labor later told it was. As soon as she put her... Uh, bait back out again after getting that guy safely on board. Oh, that's a good one. By golly, she okay, pulled in another one. Back. Walk back. And in the meantime, I'm, I'm just filming. But that's okay. Wow, you are on a roll. That is a beautiful fish right there. I don't have time to uh, admire it properly because I've got a fish of my own on. No doubt it's going to be oh, bigger. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Well, not this okay. time. My fish but it's a fish. All hers. right, let's get this guy back in the water so I can uh, properly record my wife's catch. <laughs> Another skipjack. Beautiful fish. And then uh, this is my last fish of the day, the last fish before we had to uh, really make a run for it. And I want to thank the, uh, the maid and the skipper. They kept us out there as long as they could. And uh, this, 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 this guy was a fun, oh, fun fish to bring in. He fought the whole way. I wasn't sure what I had. I, I just knew that uh, he was a fighter. Nope. The mate's clearing the line so that I can get him in. Yep. Come on. No, no, get out of the way. And when it gets closer, even the captain is going to come off the flying bridge and... Uh, get out there and, and give a hand bringing him in. That is a trigger fish. I, I believe it's uh, generically called an Atlantic trigger fish, um, but man, is he a fighter. And that, that, that is a good fish. All right, well, it's over. We had to rush back. Nor normally on the charter, uh, the mate's gonna fillet the fish real quickly for you on the way back. Um, when we catch little fish like this, my wife and I like to scale them and gut them. Well, on a charter, there always isn't time for that, so uh, we ended up being let off at their dock with a cleaning table. They arranged for this guy to come out here. Now watch what he's doing. This is that trigger fish. That is hard, hard work. They say that the skin of trigger fish used to be used to sandpaper. I believe it. That guy is putting in a lot of work. Well, our day's over. Time to take our catch, head over to Senior Frogs with that trigger fish. And that is how that trigger fish ended his day. It was delicious. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this as, uh, as much as we enjoyed fishing. As always, I am enjoying retirement.